Happy Women's History Month. I've always been influenced by the women of the suffrage movement. They taught me that change takes time, but if you believe in what you're advocating for, keep working toward it and bring other women with you. Let's shine a light on Judge Constance Baker Motley, who lived in Chester. She was the nation's first black female federal judge. Who inspired me for women's history? Geraldine Ferraro. She was the first woman who ever ran for vice president of the United States of a major party. I just thought she was so well-spoken, so elegant, and I really hoped as a little girl that she would be our first female vice president. Well, we got Kamala. This Women's History Month, I am inspired by the legacy of mighty women that I come from. My mom, my grandmother, my great-grandmother, who will be 100 this year, my aunts, my sister, women who have dedicated their lives to serve their communities, which is why I'm here today. So happy Women's History Month to all of you and the women in my family. Shirley Chisholm always inspires me, not just for being the first black congresswoman or for her historic run for president, but with her words. If they don't give you a seat at the table, bring in a folding chair. And I just wanted to give you a second on somebody that influenced me as I was growing up. That was Helen Keller. Helen Keller, in my younger years, really influenced me when she was a young girl who had to overcome adversity and make a change in her own life to help make a change in everybody else's. And that is what's truly influenced me on why I do some of the things that I do right here today in the State House. I couldn't possibly list all the women that have been influential to me in my life. I'd be sitting here for weeks, starting with my mother who was strong, feisty and demanding and raised me to believe that I could do anything I put my mind to, to the teachers and professors who believed in me, to the work colleagues who made me laugh and listened to me cry, and to all my legislative colleagues here today. Here's to the history that we write as we do the work ahead of us. As a Latina, I am inspired by the countless stories of resilience we have endured and the encouraging countless stories of success from the emerging, the amazing women that have paved the way before me. They inspire me to change, they inspire me to achieve, and they inspire me to dream. Thank you for all those women that have made history in the United States and in the state of Connecticut. I'm delighted to talk about Women's History Month and recognize a woman who was very influential in my life, Jacqueline Rice. She was a very hard worker, very community focused, and she's given me the inspiration and the skill set that I need, which was one of the main reasons that I have decided to represent you in the state legislature up here in Hartford. My three daughters are the reason that I serve in public office. I love my job as a legislator and I do it for them and for all the young women because I want to show them that there are no limits to what they can accomplish in a male-dominated field. Each day, the young women of Connecticut truly inspire me. And I want to give a big shout out to the women of today, especially the younger generation, who's letting their voice be heard, often in the face of adversity. In 1920, five women were elected to serve in the House. And in 1924, the first woman was elected to serve in the Senate. Today, I have the privilege of serving in the General Assembly with over five dozen other women legislators, and I'm thrilled to be able to do so. Being a female state legislator means being a role model for so many young girls and young women across our state so that they know that they too can be in spaces and places where decisions are made. 